Good morning, kiddos. I'm getting some work done. I have a meeting, or not a meeting, but I have a call with a lawyer to figure out some contract stuff. And I'm picking out my next batch of clothes from Revolve. If you don't follow me on uh, Instagram, what are you doing? I'm gonna let you in on a Revolve secret of mine. <laughs> so I started working with them. I was a little weary because I didn't know if they actually carried plus size. You know, they're not the most inclusive website, but Revolve is kind of like Nordstrom's. So Nordstrom's carries designers. They don't make clothes, if that makes sense, you know? So it's like a little tiny mall in here. And that's what I like to think about. So you could go ahead and like type in your measurements and like your sizes and stuff. That doesn't really work for me. So at, at this moment, at this moment, in this moment, I really like Meow and Fiorucci. Look, this is, oh fuck, it's in pre-order, damn it. See, that's the thing that I don't like about these websites. Why do you do that? Anyway, have these things I'm taking to Spain. Have these things I'm taking to Spain with me for obvious reasons. They just scream Spain. Why is everything sold out? This is pissing me off. Yeah, Meow is just like a really hot brand. So I can't do the skirts because the skirts are so small. Like. Look how tiny that is. <sighs> I need some tea. Is this also? <gasps> oh my God, they have an extra large. Ooh, do you think I could fit these? These are like a low rise. I'm not gonna do that. There's only one left, sadly, but that's pretty cute. It's going in there. Ooh, pretty. Okay, got this. Mini tea, that's pretty cute. Like Look who I'm with. What's up? It's your girl. Big purr. We're talking I'm shit. So tired. <laughs> okay, I had my call with my lawyer. It went really well. Uh, now I'm just heating up this chicken for lunch. Anyway, I marinated this chicken uh, the other day. And I don't know. It's kind of been a little bit of my meal prep. And I ran out of peppers, and I'm so sad about it. It's wrinkly. I can still eat it, though. It's so fresh inside. It's fine. Honestly, we went to an event, and John Legend performed. It's for his new skincare line. It's called Loved One. And it was so fun. Like, I think, as a creator, a lot of these events are a little bit... I feel like they're not that great sometimes, and I don't know, it feels very, I don't know, it, maybe it feels too influency. I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but this one just felt like people just getting to know each other, networking, and I didn't really even see like a ton of influencers if that makes sense like for the most part it was just you know other people i don't know how to explain it uh, but i don't know it just felt like a more elevated event and yeah i'm just like very happy that i got to be a part of that um so yeah it was pretty cool danny and i were talking about it we we're really happy with it apparently dr weber was there from gray's anatomy i didn't get to see him which i'm kind of sad about but um it's just cool to know that they were in the same room that I was in, you know? And honestly, I wouldn't be able to do all that if it weren't for y'all, so shout outs to you too. I also have a facial today. My skin has been doing a lot better. It might not look like it, because <laughs> I'm right there. It was a gnarly one too, it was like a big pimple. She was like, wow, I'm here to stay forever. And it took everything of me not to pop it. Because one thing about me, I'm gonna pop a fucking pimple. Um, so I was like, I have a facial, she, if anything, she'll do it for me. If not, she'll high frequency it. <gasps> oh my God. I didn't feel a sticker off. Oopsies. 
in the meantime, I'm gonna chop up these two. Ooh, she's squirted. Okay. She's a juicy one. Sheesh. This one's not juicy. And honestly, I don't even know why I'm even chopping these up because I literally have pico de gallo. But there's something about super fresh tomatoes that just really does it for me. So, I'm gonna do this. Also, I've been eating the bitchin sauce or whatever it's called. Bitchin. Bitchin kitchen. I don't know what it's called. Let me get it. This one. Oh my god, I'm literally almost out of it. I should have bought the big one. It's so fucking good. It's the chipotle one. Oh my god. It like replaces the um the sour cream i'm trying not to do a lot of dairy and if i do it's like yogurt or something like that because it really it really does fuck with my skin like it's not good for it so i try not to do too much and it's fucking delicious it's so good i highly highly recommend i decided on making a flatbread with this lavash oh but it's flatbread and looks pretty damn good because i just want like a fat juicy something wrapped usually i use these almond flour um siete tortillas but i have two in here and i could probably save them for something else so i'm just heating it up a little bit so it gets a little warm a lot of the things that i make are things that I just think of in the moment, truthfully. Like, I don't really be thinking about it too hard. Um, I like things to be easy, but yummy. And this just sounds real yummy to me right now. Boom. I wish this was a little higher so you could see exactly what I'm doing, but um, chicken and peppers. Some body ones tell me bitchin sauce we're gonna load her wow yeah and this is vegan too apparently i like my things to be juicy it's a lot of tomatoes we love tomatoes in this house lettuce i don't think i'll be able to wrap this, this is a lot oh yeah Oh, it's oozing, I love it. Carrots, these aren't baby carrots, these are like toddler carrots. Cause they're not huge, they're like the size of my palm. Perfect. Two. Let's have a yellow one, sure. Let's have a purple one. Ooh. And that, my friends, is a lunch. For the bad bitches. Now, I know it can't be just me, but I like hate working when I'm having lunch, so I'm taking a little break right now. It's one right now. I'm probably gonna eat for the next 30, 40 minutes. I'm gonna get dressed, because I have to drive. Five second rule. It's eating time. When it comes to work, this job, I feel like nobody has a lot of respect for me and my time and because this is not like a regular nine to five it tends to feel that way a lot like i have to be on my phone all the time whatever and i have i have difficulty finding time for me without worrying about work now will i still worry about work probably but i'm gonna watch love island and i'm gonna eat my fucking lunch because i deserve the a lunch is intended only for mature audiences viewer discretion advised you know Previously on Love Island, snog the three fitted islanders. My face might be a little red, a little weird looking from the facial. The peel is doing its thing, so I'm red and I just look like mm, I have some scarring right here from all the 
from all the gnarly pimple popping that we did it wasn't honestly it wasn't that bad like once you start going more regularly i can't leave, i can't even look at my face right now um once you start going a little more regularly it's not that bad um but danny and i went to our workout uh, i was supposed to do some stuff today but i actually have to take my grandma to the doctors she's okay though my smoothie banana peanut butter oat milk l-glutamine and protein <laughs> i'm trying to get these gains like i have been lifting a little heavier <laughs> so i'm pretty proud of that i'm very that makes me really happy uh, i just want to have like juicy thighs like i want to have like mm, strong like i don't think that i want to lose any fat i want to like build on top of the fat that i have if that makes sense like i want like juicy quads like that's like oh, whenever i see juicy quads i just does something to me um, today uh we did like these like sumo squats and like all these things it was really it was like that <coughs> i know that i can lift a lot heavier with my legs but it sucks because you obviously have to hold it with your arms and i'm not as strong in my arms so i'm trying to go heavier on the arms oh my battery's gonna die i'm not gonna become this like fitness guru that's not my intention but i love having the what am i looking for right now i don't really have any plans of changing my body i just want to be active as active as i can be and i haven't been able to go to volleyball which has been really upsetting me i think i might be able to go this weekend but it's only on saturdays now and a lot of times saturdays i have a lot to do like i've already had plans or whatever so it's been hard to like go <laughs> it's i've missed like three classes four classes probably we lost one the other i think last class because it was raining i don't know it's a hot mess but at least i know in the summer i'm probably gonna be a lot more on it doing our workouts it's been really nice having a buddy system i don't know it's really hard to like keep yourself on track and keeping yourself accountable is so hard like um on tuesday so we usually do tuesdays and thursdays that's how we started now we added on monday and that's like cardio i might do like a, like a whole gym day morning for us so that y'all can see like what we're doing because it is low-key like i'm like really proud of me and well me and danny like I, like we're really doing the fucking thing um i'm gonna tell you what vitamins i take and i forgot i bought like more spf and i left it in my car Ooh. okay first things first oil of oregano um, I usually do two a day, but my facialist, especially after all this, like, you know, um, inflamed stuff, I'm going to take three today. She says I can take up to six. Um, so I'm going to take three. I also take maca root. Maca root's supposed to be really good for just, like, hormonal balance. Um, uh, my friend who has PCOS, she told me about it. And so I just take it for extra measure, especially with my acne and stuff. I just want to make sure I'm good to go. So, these, and I don't take these religiously. Um, the the religiously one I take is this one for sure, or of oregano. And if, if anything, I just want to take care of my acne as much as possible. Turmeric, so great for inflammation or or fights against inflammation. And also, it's good for liver function. Turmeric is just really good for you. And ashwagandha for the days that I'm feeling a little low and a little stressed. Ooh, I used to take this religiously, like, when I moved. And I would say a little bit right before I moved to L.A. Um, not that I was, like, heavily depressed or anything like that. But, you know, I just... I want to feel free i want to feel good i want to feel light and it really helps me so i'm gonna take one two three four five six six <laughs> vitamins big purr and then i'll redo the oil of oregano tonight for sure um my esthetician also recommended vitamin d and zinc i haven't bought those so mm. P. 
period wow i did that in one go <sighs> i have huge tonsils sometimes it doesn't allow me to swallow things as easily as possible <laughs> oh, okay first come with me to the bathroom my shower got clogged so i did draino and now it needs hot water anyway you're supposed to do this gonna have a little bit of a rinse here lovely in there oh i love that that's so satisfying let's go eat <sighs> okay jump scare look at how much i'm peeling <gasps> this is an intense one i haven't peeled this bad in a long time like we did we did it like one of the first times i ever got a peel it was glorious but this summer run, I'm like, whoa, it's a little intense. Um, but we're about to go to my workout, so I need to do my ponytail. And I'm trying out the wax stick, Sam Samnite. I don't know. It was all over TikTok, so, you know, usually, so you push up and just go to town i feel like this is a little more a little safer for just a little better for the hair yesterday i would have kept vlogging but literally nothing exciting happened to me i'm so tired oh, i don't know if i'm ready for this workout okay i don't know why i didn't think of this sooner i literally have a selfie light <sighs> The things we do as influencers. Anyway, back from my workout. I had to look how cute this shirt is. Danny gave it to me. It says something about your mother. Love your mother. Love your mother. Mother Earth. Anyway, workout was fucking crazy. So I'm going to make my shake because I'm starving. And I need to take a shower. I feel like I stunk. Like, I just feel gross. I sweat so much. Like, I'm definitely, I mean, I sweat. I'm not like a huge sweater but i definitely sweat and today bitch oh my god i was sweating bananas i think you can see my skin more clearly now too look look how much i'm peeling and i have to go to uh i had to go to whole foods to uh get stuff for like my lunch and like just some stuff to kind of meal prep a bit um y'all saw what i ate earlier that's the I have a hyper fixation on food sometimes and that's just what I've been eating for the past like three, four days. It doesn't have any added, it has one gram of added sugar, that's great. And it's 120 calories for this big thing. Um, I'm not counting calories, but I always wanna make sure I'm not eating like excess sugar because it breaks me out really bad and it's not good for you. Okay, anyway, I'm trying to eat like higher protein because i'm lifting more in these workouts so this is the protein that i want to show y'all it smells really good i like really like the smell and taste of protein i don't know why i still don't really i need to like start googling what things mean because truthfully I really know how much i'm supposed to be having i just do one scoop one banana and a half uh because i ate the other half before my workout i didn't have breakfast this is l-glutamine i hear it's really good for um like your digestive system and like bloating and i just want to see like what that even does my friend really likes it and she's she just swears by it so i'm just saying if i see a difference honestly um that's the other thing about like progress pictures and stuff like that like I don't do those. Um, I use this milk. It's oat milk. Um, I've never liked cow's milk. So this is just what I go for all the time. It gets really thick with the powder. So. Okay, anyway. Peanut butter. Ugh. This shit, like, it's so good. So yeah, that's why I never, you know, that's why I said I'm not going to be, like, a fitness girly or anything. I never want y'all to 
think that not that that's a bad thing and if you know if one day that's what I want to do then I'm gonna do it regardless but yeah that's not really my goal there we go my pepper had a baby I'm so sorry we're going baby that feels terrible slicing down This is why we keep our knives as sharp as possible. Because the real test is if you can cut a tomato with the peel on. And if you can't go through that, girly pop, you need to sharpen your knife. We're gonna dice her very, oops. I fucked up. We're just gonna do this. Here we go. Lemon juice. Put it back in the bag. We're gonna wash this. Rinsey rinse. Washy wash. This little hack my grandma was like, just try to fold it in on itself and then just go. Very tiny, tiny, tiny chops. Now we just need a cute little spoon. Wow. So now it gets to marinate. And that's what makes it juicy. Should we taste? Mmm. I wish I had one of those like, I guess I could do this. For just a bit of a kick. Like very lightly though. Chimichurri um, herb mix. So I'm just gonna sprinkle it on top. Just feel like it's gonna be very yummy. And then I'm gonna do the other side when it's on the pan because I feel like this part is gonna like get, I just feel like it's gonna go everywhere if I flip them. Beautiful. Okay, done the chicken and veggies are cooking and they're getting all of the like crusties in the pan. The juice, oh, I love. It's like a little charred. Hello, my face is not done peeling all the way, but it's, it's getting there. I'm on my way to my mom's because we're gonna go tomar once. Look at these. Mmm. Y el pay. Pay de limón. Yeah, we went to Whole Food and we got it. No. No, she we went to it. Paula. Oh. Pa Paula. Oh, Paula. Oh, Paula. Pero como la vida. Pero si el pay de limón. Ya, Qué rico. Oh, y empanado. Ya, ¿quién le quiere explicar? Ah, ¿tú tienes hambre y quieres comer? Sí. <risa> ya, rápidamente, explíqueme qué es la once. La once, mira, cuando tú almuerzas, mm. piensas que te va a dar hambre en unas cuatro horas más. Mm. Y ya. preparas algo rico sea dulce como el país de limón, algo saladito como las empanaditas de queso que tienen sorpresa dentro de más del queso, mm -hmm. con paltita, con pancito, todo lo que quieras. Y, y como esto es como eh, en Inglaterra, es la hora del <risa> país, entonces claro. como nosotros somos tan ingleses y europeos, como pueden ver, y europeo, entonces... <risa> Here you go. Lo de las once, lo, eso se sabe, ¿no? ¿Por qué once? Eh, sí y no. ¿Por qué no dos? No, porque, <risa> no, porque lo que pasa es que tomaban aguardiente a la mala. Uh -huh. Entonces decían, vamos a tomar once, porque aguardiente tiene once letras. Uh -huh. Entonces para disimular, uh -huh. aguardiente decían... Vamos a tomar 
Y después derivó en la once que conocemos que... ¿Y dónde quedó el aguardiente? No la veo. <risa> My friendly friend. Oh, did you miss mama? No, my grandparents are there, so I don't know. It, I feel like they're still trying to get used to the fact that I don't live there. And they're like, oh my god, are you... There's toothpaste. They're like, oh my god, like, are you leaving? And I'm like, yeah, I have a home somewhere else. I have a daughter that's expecting me every night. Right, are you expecting me every night? Morning. But yeah, all that to say, I think they're just kind of getting used to me being a grown woman that has her own place to stay. Um, but actually, really fun news. I'm going on a brand trip. What? It's not with Tarte, but it is with Anthropology, so we are super excited and we are happy for each other. Because you also get to experience it, because I'm gonna vlog it. Okay, I'm gonorrhea. I forgot to say my outro. I hope you're having a wonderful day or a wonderful night. Oh, whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.